Welcome to Draga, where we tell a dumb story with even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. Joining us, of course, is Jacob Andrews. Uh, that's right. It's Regina. Hello. As well as Julia Le Petit. Hello. The, uh, the Eladrin fighter, Roxa. Yay. And finally, Nathan, you know him, you love him. It's Legsy Shortstack. It's still me. <laughs> still him. Will always be him. Guys... I'm so amped for this adventure. It's been too long. Let's dive right fucking back in. As you recall, we're um, in the in the laboratory cavern, the cavernous lab. The cavatory. The cavatory. Yeah. Good. That's, that's, that's what I said. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Good. No. The, the Legsy, Legsy said that in character. Let's let's keep dwelling on that. Okay. <laughs> let's keep dwelling on that dwelling. Anyway, you're in the laboratory. You're in the cavatory. Uh, Francis is is just typing away at this computer. Um, he's he's told you to go investigate the doors, but you're honestly just transfixed by by all the things he's guessing uh, to try and hack this password. Uh, so you kind of like you're inching towards the door, but you're watching him enter in these passwords because it's really just kind of goddamn hilarious. Well, he knew Daryl better than we did. He did know Daryl better than you you did, but Daryl was a very private man. Uh, his shit was locked down tight. Sure. Uh, so Francis starts off by entering. Don't go through the green door. <laughs> followed by. Blart broken. Aww. After that, he he hits the console for a second, uh, paces a little bit, then says, Nathan drew the heads in the wrong order. <laughs> All caps. <laughs> Very astute. I did do that in the last episode. <laughs> I was surprised at how few people called me out for that, but I'm glad someone did <laughs> as also their password suggestion. And they can call you out now for it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Francis is getting really steamed. He tries, you thought it was ogre. That doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> booty me down down. <laughs> Francis is like, you're not even trying. Mm-hmm. He he thinks long and hard for a second, shrugs, and then types, Francis did it in. Uh, that doesn't work either. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Stefan Galaxy 293. <laughs> Martin Threeman is Bay. I'm dead, frowny face. <laughs> Martin Threeman knows who killed me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, in a, with, as a look of defeat falls upon Francis's face, he types in ass word. <laughs> <laughs> and that also does not work. Oh, no. Oh, man. Uh, so Francis slumps down in his chair. Uh, he, he turns around and notices you guys are still there and says, What? What, what are you doing? Go, go through the door. There could be monsters in here. I need your help. Come on. I'll figure this out. I promise. I just got to jog my memory a little bit. We're trying to decide which door to go through. Uh, well, why don't you go through... He kind of looks around uh, randomly. Uh, how about the green door? Yeah, that one seems like, uh, you know, if I were to make a democratic decision about which door you should go through, that would be the one I would choose. Yeah, about... You know what? I agree. I feel like that's about 45%. <laughs> The correct choice. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> over, about right. Over yeah, the other yeah. ones. Okay. Well, get your ass over there. Okay. Oh, jeez. Jeez, man. God, God, we're going. We get it. You're frustrated. You can't think of the password. Don't take it out on us. <laughs> I'm. You know what? You're right. I got to work on my anger management issues. It's a. Uh, my therapist really says that that's kind of the root of a lot of my problems. And yeah, we, we don't have time for this. Get through that door. <laughs> so you guys skedaddle over to the green door, um, and you, you pop that sucker open. Uh, and you walk inside. Okay. And inside is a fairly standard lab. It looks, you know, there's a lot of kind of storage equipment in here. Sure. A lot of sheds, a lot of uh, cabinets, a lot of cupboards. There's a... Uh, Ooh, is that, a, is that an Ikea dresser? Yeah, that's a, that's a thlongle. <laughs> <laughs> that's a thlongle, and right next to it is a crunk. <laughs> um, and, and then in the other corner, you see a uh, one, one of those uh, hooded lab stations that has like the, uh, the fume hood. So that you don't uh, asphyxiate yourself while you're working with your chemicals? I thought that was a bar. I thought this was an open bar laboratory. <laughs> well, it does kind of look like a bar. Daryl was a mixologist. Yeah. <laughs> when, when the lab turns into Daryl's lab after dark, when it, when it turns into <laughs> Daryl after dark, hell yeah, they're mixing up some witch's brew over there. <laughs> hell yes, Daryl. In the daytime hours, it is a, um, it's a fume hood. Uh, but of course, Daryl does turn off the fume hood at night so that he can get fully twisted on some, uh, some concoctions of his own design. <laughs> hell yeah. He's big into molecular uh, imbibing. Of yes, course. Yes, of course. Um, so you guys start to poke around, just trying to make sure that this, this place is monster-free. He put a big D on his fume hood just in case someone took it. <laughs> Daryl's... I, I will have no remarks about Daryl's branding. It is on point. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> his brand will extend beyond the stars. 
No, that D is for dope. It's a dope ass <laughs> fume hood. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, that's an IKEA. That's an IKEA uh, fume hood as well. It stands for Dunkus. <laughs> um, so you guys, IKEA you guys... is is the only brand in the in in Fantasyville that it doesn't change. It doesn't have like yeah. a fantasy pun name. <laughs> exactly. Not because we couldn't think of one. No. Uh huh. Um, so you you guys take a couple steps into the room. You've barely stepped into this room before you start hearing a big growling noise. Okay. Um, you look around. You you guys pan your heads around. You you don't see anything. But then all of a sudden the uh, the big pile of trash uh, in the right corner starts to move. <gasps> Moving trash. The big trash pile monster. of trash starts rustling. Uh, just thousands upon thousands of Wendy's wrappers fall away. <laughs> Wendy's just Wendy's wrappers and porno mags just fall away, and underneath is the dreaded Pear Bear. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my god, he's adorable. He's not adorable. He looks less cute than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. So I guess Grizzly Pear is like his his cute. Yeah, the Grizzly cousin. Pear is the cute one, but yeah, the Pear well, Bear. Much like there are different uh, strains of of pears, there are different types of of Pear Bears. This is more of a black pear. Oh, of course. Roxa can't stop laughing. <laughs> Roxa is entranced. <laughs> the way you said moving pile of trash was the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I, I'll go ahead and say we don't have a, a guest voice for this episode. So uh, the most, the, the pear bear only speaks in grunts and growls. But know that if, if, if we do delve into his character, know that he is a... He's super messy. He's a super messy boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he loves Wendy's. <laughs> he loves Wendy's. Wendigos. 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 Right. Uh, so he finishes off uh, a, a final remaining quarter pounder that was chilling beneath him and just like starts charging right at you. Like there's not going to be any uh, any diplomacy involved in this fight. This is just kind uh, of a straight up um, man on pair. Caldwell, yes! I think you should know that uh, the quarter pounder is not Wendigos. That's McDemons. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So please get it straight. <laughs> All right, uh Jacob gets advantage. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I don't exactly know what that means in this campaign, but uh Jacob it makes me feel good. Congratulations. Advantage given. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely a baconator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fully. Uh, but yeah, he 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 pounds that the the final bits of that baconator and just charges at you. So let's go ahead and roll for some initiative. Oh my goodness, Howdy. And, and, J- and Jacob gets advantage on his on what on his initiative. Uh, Jacob, I'm just gonna roll. With yeah, extra Jacob confidence. gets to roll first. That's all it means. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. roll with extra pep in my step. Okay. And off the table. <laughs> Try again. Try again. Oh, it was almost a twenty, but it was an eight. That's okay. Almost. So, so great. He rolled an eight. Oh my god. Nathan also rolled an eight. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Julia rolled an 18. Cause it's a fight! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's so ready. <laughs> we, we keep having these uh, these roll-offs. Uh, why don't you guys get down to okay, it? Right. So we have... I'm gonna give Jacob advantage on this roll-off. Yeah. Oh my god. Great. I rolled a oh! one. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's coming up legsy. Seven. Seven. Yeah, seven beats a one. That's fa- that's fact. The order is set. Um, Roxa. Yes. Do you wish to go first, or do you wish to defer? I'll defer. Deference accepted. Wow. Because I'll just I'll I'll defeat the pear bearer right. Ro- like straight off. Right. So Roxa's is, Rox is being sporting about it. <laughs> yeah. Give give my friends uh, a shot. Demon Johnny is fun. like licking his lips. Like you want to just give everyone. Yeah. That that's very kind of you. <laughs> Uh, all right, then Nathan, uh, it's it's your go. Legsy, are you are you gonna hop in there? Yeah, I think you know what Legsy's been uh, deferring a lot lately, mm-hmm. and uh, she's she's tired of it. It's time to yeah. She, I'm tired of it too. She wants to she wants to be bold. She she wants to be uh, a hero. Legsy's feeling inspired. I like it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, let's let's get down to it. Um, right. Legsy. Right, well- I think Legsy battle mode is uh she she's been itching to to see what's in this this wiki tome. <laughs> oh man, pulling it out. So I, I love think it. Legsy Legsy's just gonna sort of um she's gonna open it up. Uh-huh. She's gonna flip. Just it just sort of it flips to a random page. Yes. I would imagine it's gonna be a Polish city. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do you want to open your tome? Okay. So uh, Legsy has has taken the tome. The wiki tome out of her uh, her leg bag, mm-hmm. and it opens to the spell. Oh, Darren, wow. Darren Tasia or Bonella or Bonella. Darren Tasia or Bonella. That does sound like a spell. <laughs> it and really does. It's a moth. 
<laughs> so Legzy, Legzy's going full, uh, full moth attack. Oh, that's great. On on this, <laughs> on this bear bear. Can, Nathan, Legzy, can I get, uh, just can I get some audio of you saying that attack, but in like a Hermione Granger voice? <laughs> <clears throat> Darantasia Orbanella. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Just like full lepidoptery. Yeah. I guess, are just moths just like, just piling out of this tome? I think we're going to find out, dude. I know. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm just, I'm overly excited. I apologize. Well, listen, we're all excited about the spell, Caldwell. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't, you know, normally, this isn't how I normally play D&D. Like, normally I wait for what I feel will be uh, a larger challenge and I, and I end up hoarding items. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this is, this is for entertainment purposes. And uh, <laughs> It's true. That's what I, you scream as you, as you open the tome. Yeah. I, I, after I say the Orbanella uh, spell, I just say, for entertainment. <laughs> that, is the, that is the ladies' book club's rally and cry. <laughs> For shits and giggles. Oh man, guys! I so people have been wanting uh, like ladies' book club T-shirts and stuff, and I'm realizing that we're all super busy and don't have time to do it. I, let me, what, do you, what do you guys think about just having an entire encounter episode where you like? have to defeat like a magical printing press <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing yeah if you guys like that idea uh let me know in the comments <laughs> we have to take down zazlor <laughs> the t-shirt <laughs> goblin <laughs> i'm here to steal all your t-shirt ideas <laughs> so i want to get um uh i want to get uh Ro- i want to get some input from roxa here roxa what do you think about moths Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that's the most. That's the most Roxo has said in five episodes. <laughs> yeah, it's the chillest answer. <laughs> I, I like to think that while like while this spell is going down, like Roxo looks up and goes like, "Oh, cool," and then goes back to uh, you know, like wrapping <laughs> her knuckles or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Getting ready for the fight. <laughs> she's like punching her hands together. Uh, she's playing bloody knuckles with herself. Is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> One of her favorite pastimes. This is my favorite part of the the show is when we just like envision what Roxa is doing. Uh, yeah. Well, like how Roxa is entertaining herself. It's while, time while for Roxa's movie. corner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. So she's she's just punching. She's just punching <laughs> a wall. Oh man. <laughs> just slapping on his face. <laughs> Moth. <laughs> just shoot it right out there. <laughs> Moth attack. <laughs> Splat! <laughs> Just gets up in there. I've heard of mothballs, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, Jonathan, you want to explain that one? Nope. <laughs> I just haven't said anything this episode. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I like that. Um, usually, Jonathan waits till the right moment to to attack as well. But both he and Legsy are just kind of jumping right in there, regardless of it's, how it's almost they are. as if they're played by the same person. <laughs> uh Regina. Moths yes. or butterflies? Uh Regina likes moths. Is they're more like creatures of the night? Yeah. Moths are like a um in many cultures they are they they symbolize spirits and the dead. Yeah, uh, I mean that's not true. What I thought that was really? I mean it's not true that they are spirits of the dead. I know something about spirits of the dead, Caldwell. Okay. Well, I, I hate to, I hate to death splain to moth you. Moth spirits are totally different. <laughs> I hate to, I'm sorry to moth splain. Uh, yeah. I apologize for that. You're dead wrong about that. Oh, thank boy. you, Jonathan. High five on that one, buddy. <laughs> he just, he just hits his head into your hand. Guys, a little, little Draga secret. Uh, Nathan hasn't been on the show uh, since the beginning. He recorded episode one, and we got so many Jonathan riffs from that one that we just built a soundboard. <laughs> Nathan's been dead <laughs> for months. Nathan is Jonathan now. That's his actual skull. Yeah. Please tell my parents to come look for me. <laughs> um. Yeah. I. I can. I can Julia up this. Uh, this drawing. Oh, are you gonna make bit. it more dynamic? Yeah. Just add some like. Just a little bit of. Oh shit! That does look better. Holy yeah. fu- this is like the more <laughs> dramatic lighting you add to this, the funnier it becomes. <laughs> I'm picturing that it took you like 30 minutes to charge up this attack, by the way. <laughs> and it just spits out a single moth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the one. And it just flutters. And, and, and then my wiki tome disappears because it, uh-huh. it was a one-use item. 
Uh, this yeah. was there's not a better use you could have found than this. <laughs> So what happens oh to God. the moth? Does it just stick around or does it disappear with the wiki tome? Uh, no, the moth is the moth is permanent. The moth the moth is part of our party now. Yeah. <laughs> Do and we I'm want gonna, to? I'm going to name him uh, Jeffers Two. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffers Two Moth Edition. Great. <laughs> so um, yeah, that that's that's Lexi's turn. <laughs> Great. <laughs> A plus Wonderful. turn. You Perfect. guys, you guys do better. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I guess uh, Roxley, do you want to go now, or is uh, is Regina up? No, I'm gonna go last. All right, I like it. Roxa always takes the last slot. Roxas are um, Roxas are fucking ringer. Yeah, I mean, my assumption is that is that Rox is just going to like fucking slice this thing into a million pieces. Yeah. <laughs> just, we're not gonna get to do anything. Just gonna frick say it. That's why I'm letting you guys go first. <laughs> So the, the moth latches on there, and it's it's like in there good, and it's fluttering about, and like. Can we get uh, some, uh, some muffled bear noises? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the main reason why I did it. He tries to blow it off. He goes, <laughs> but but nothing nothing doing. That moth is on there good. <laughs> um, so, Regina, as you approach, he all of a sudden stops. He stands up straight. He sucks in, and then all of a sudden, he duplicates himself. They're, what? He double bared? He double bared? The pear bear is now a pear. We just got double double barreled. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we just got double barreled. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, hey. oh Jonathan. <laughs> He's back. Again, not a, not an expression. It's like like a shotgun. Like a double barrel shotgun. Jonathan. Um, and I'm like a shotgun with these jokes because they're not very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan was a um, was a surgeon before this. Uh, his bedside manner was terrible. <laughs> so yes, as I as I just stated, there are now two bears. Uh, one of them one of them still has the moth on its face, yeah, but the other bear is that moth's gonna last for the rest of the encounter. <laughs> Great. Exactly. Put, I'm gonna put him in the background over here. <laughs> Still, still struggling. Jeffers two is fucking like. So it like, doesn't duplicate the moth. Just no, the... Uh, Jeff Jeffers two is is like just doing his part for <laughs> for so this great happy nation. I can contribute. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffers two, you can barely notice, but like, because Jeffers two is like holding on for dear life, and then all of a yeah. sudden he like he kind of turns, and you see him like wink at you a little bit and like salute. Oh, Jeffers two. Mm -hmm. I love that guy. He, he's instantly on board for this. Uh, he, he's really, man, uh, it's it's just so sad that moths have such a short lifespan and that he's definitely not going <laughs> to survive past this episode. I'm just going to harvest this moth wholesale <laughs> from your drawing. I think that one of the items uh, from the, the prize grotto actually would have allowed you to do that, but I'll, I'll allow this. This is, um, you know what, Jacob? You get double advantage now for that creative thinking. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> Man, double advantage. <laughs> yep, uh, that just means double advantage. Just means that you you glow a little bit. <laughs> Wait, you're 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 glowing a little bit. So so Jonathan's like, ooh, wh when's the baby due? All right, because you're because you're glowing, Jonathan. That's a thing people say about pregnant women. Jonathan, I will unsummon you. <laughs> I brought you it into this world. I'll won't take be you out the of first it. time. <laughs> I do like the idea that this is just like a goof that got really out of hand. Regina was just like, hey guys, check it out. I made a skull that makes puns. And everyone's like, oh, nice, nice one. <laughs> Pretty good. That's going to be fun at all the parties and the yeah. gatherings. Uh, but then like, oh boy, the, the puns, much like a, a corpse, they just began to rot. <laughs> I was very drunk when I summoned Jonathan. <laughs> that is a classic, um, classic party trick. <laughs> Summoning a bone staff. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm so proud of your dedication to the mystery here, uh, yeah. Jacob, <laughs> where you've started off by like drawing what's like just the panic, and now you're you're working backwards, which I love. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the sheer panic. The, mm -hmm. the reveal is going to be what Regina is doing. The reveal yeah. is going to be good and worth it. Yes. Good and worth it. That's <laughs> that's my motto. That's what you scream. <laughs> other than Grizzly Bear in the background. Just, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> <laughs> he like moths are the stickiest animal. It is true. Moths and bears are natural enemies. Moths, <laughs> moths, and bears. moths uh, bears love butterflies. Uh, they love nothing more than have a couple butterflies fluttering around them. But like a moth, fuck no. 
<laughs> Get them moon flies away. Well, a bear is is basically a bear is basically like a like a fur coat, and moths yes. just eat those things up. Oh fuck yeah! I guess like this is a pear bear probably doesn't have too much fur, but like this right. moth doesn't know the difference. <laughs> so uh, let's let's get a quick um let's head head back over to Roxa's corner real quick. Uh, Roxa, what's going on over there? How you doing? Pretty good. All right, all right. <laughs> there there are now uh there are now two two pear bears. Does that make you uh happy, sad, more excited, <laughs> indifferent? A little bit more excited. I was ready for twice, a fight. Twice the bears to slice. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Smash, smash, I, I smash. Think. Yeah. Roxa has been taking this this time to just like, she's she's just been kind of like as we mentioned before, she was taping taping up her hands, but she's actually just been like kind of taping junk to her hands, like Wolverine <laughs> style. So she just kind of got yeah, she's kind of got like a a, a T one thousand kind of thing going on, where she just got like a bunch of like Edward Scissorhands junk tied to her hands now. <laughs> I'm just so excited for Roxa to go full Gallagher on these yeah. on these fruit bears. Yeah, <laughs> Roxa's got a full 45 minute routine prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Roxa, yeah, she pulls a giant mallet out of Demon Johnny and is like taking a couple practice swings. Oh boy! Oh, the- is she just eating it. Uh, so when Caldwell told me that we still had some vials of soul sauce. Oh. oh. Um, nice. It made Regina a little hungry, mm-hmm. so uh, she splashed some soul sauce on this guy, and decided, uh-huh. you know, maybe that's a good combo. And now, now that's what I call soul food. And uh, you know what? <laughs> She's into it. That one got me for real. <laughs> <laughs> no goose. Oh fuck! This is a great, great composition on this drawing as well, too. I, I love the. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's really only eating the new one. The old one is is fully occupied. Uh huh. So, the old one is incapacitated right now. <laughs> He's got to deal with that that whole moth, <laughs> that one whole moth. Now, the the best thing about the soul sauce is that it like it actually is like a it's such a flavor enhancer that it makes the pear bear taste like whatever you want. So, uh, Regina, what is it? What does it taste like to you? Blood. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Love blood. All right. <laughs> big, <laughs> That's going to be great because there's some actual blood in there too. So, so this is really, this really just tastes kind of like double blood. Yes, <laughs> double blood. Uh-huh. So uh huh. So good old fashioned double blood. Right. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I guess I don't know. Like, are 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 pear bears full of juice? Are they? Is it like a? Like, yeah. Do they taste like a pear, or do I they mean, taste like, like a pear if a pear was also a bear? Listen, Nathan, it's a little bit of that West Kentucky sweet blood, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, this whole time. <laughs> Uh, Legsy is just is just clapping two of her fake legs together, cheering on Jeffers two. Yeah, <laughs> come on, buddy. You, you got can this, do it. Jeffers two. <laughs> you did it. You were not a waste of an item. <laughs> you were exactly what I hoped for and love. <laughs> Jeffers two is is just like desperately trying to impregnate this bear. <laughs> <laughs> and he's succeeding, you know what? Oh, yeah, fully. Like, this bear is just, there's going to be so many caterpillars emerging out of the corpse of this bear at the end of this encounter. <laughs> I do want to add, like, a little, like, meat ring in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> that that fruit meat. Fruit Actually, <clears throat> yeah, I think that, like, normally um, a pear bear's blood would taste, like, sweet and, and juicy, but, like, the soul sauce has kind of like allowed you to change this blood's fate and make it zestier and more meat-like. Yeah, I yeah. like a spicy blood. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you that. Zesty blood. Uh, Ooh, there so we go. Zesty. That's, that's my drawing, you guys. That's a great-ass drawing. Well done. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, Rygina, for clarification, do you eat the entire pear bear or do you just take a big chunk out and you're like, I'm full? Uh, yeah, I'm not eating the whole thing. <laughs> you put the rest in a Tupperware. Yeah, I want to take some home for later. Okay. <laughs> Just enough to incapacitate it. I could have lunch tomorrow. You put it in your Tupperware of holding. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh you it, it it can't like speak language, but you can no. you can sort of make out it it grunts sort of what sounds like what what the hell? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I've been alive for such a short amount of time. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously like very existentially horrifying. To, yeah. to like watch himself being devoured. You you don't speak bear, but you're pretty sure that he's saying the equivalent of not cool dude, not cool at all. <laughs> um, 
So while uh, so you head back with your Tupperware, uh, and then of course Roxa steps up. But before Roxa can get any closer, uh, the the bear that has the moth on it, the the bear prime, pear bear prime, just like flips the fuck out. He shouts, he screams, he stomps, he gnashes his teeth, and then all of a sudden he goes, and I roll this dice. And six more bears appear. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. It's almost so, as if my moth did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, you're just gonna, I like it. Yeah, here we go. Save some time. You don't, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've given you the greatest challenge of all, which is making you draw seven pear bears. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting just one giant splat explosion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like no, just no, no. The, just the, however many pear bears you would have said would have just determined the size of the explosion, <laughs> <laughs> the smash. Rox has been looking forward to this. Like yeah, they they definitely have a like Final Fantasy style bomb like self destruct button, but th- this is their last dish effort before they explode. So yeah, I guess uh, Regina, you and you and Legzy uh, are kind of like chilling now. You've uh, yeah. you've done your part. You really we we were we were just biding time. Like we knew. Like we saw Roxa rolled that eighteen, which sort of translated to her getting mm-hmm. this look in her eye. Yeah. yeah a gleam. <laughs> and then and then she just like got real chill and, and calm. Would you say like, you were biting time? No. Nope. Come on, I can do oh, it too. Nope. <laughs> no, nope. what? what come on. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You guys oh, well, all you get die. Disadvantage. <laughs> you guys all die instantly. <laughs> Nah, not Legsy like that one. <laughs> I love. I can't lie. Like Legsy like that one. Legsy likes it. They're all looking up. What is <laughs> what what is what is about to happen I'm, to I'm them? I'm very I'm very all, interested. I love they all just have like real like genuine human faces yeah. right now. <laughs> like they've lost all pretense that they were bears. They're just <laughs> they're just they're just, they're just beings. Yeah, close on the brink of oblivion. They look like the little forest spirits from uh, Princess Mononoke now. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> Wait, so do they? Do they all got slices in them? Oh, did the slice get? That's an issue. Replicated? No. Yep. Listen, the 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 copying process is not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Two two yeah. of them got slices. One yeah, of yeah, them, yeah. One of them got half a moth on its head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of them just looks like Woody Allen for some oh, reason. Oh, Julia's showing that the moth is floating the mo- away. The moth knows what's up. The, the moth's moth, out of yeah, the the moth like, is... Okay, my my uh, my usefulness has is at its end. <laughs> no, no, the moth senses like imminent danger. Yeah. She knows that like these pear bears are about to get yeah. wrecked. And she's she, and... just like fly fly to me, <laughs> yeah. fly to me, Jeffers two. Jeffers, please hurry. Jeffers two, get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. Jeffers two, get out of there. <laughs> Did the sliced one get? Did you fully slice that one up? <laughs> I like or? that one's face. <laughs> <laughs> that one's closer to how it looks on the on the T-shirt. Yeah, he's like the last clone, so he's yeah. a little bit <laughs> less oh with God. it. Is that enough bears? That's the, I love that par bar at the end there. <laughs> par bar. <laughs> yeah, that's enough bears. Sure, why not? <laughs> to be fair, when I was planning out this episode, I did not consider how hard it would be to like duplicate all the bears. <laughs> I think Julie's done a pretty admirable job here. Oh my here. God, uh, yeah. these bears. These bears don't know what's about to happen to them. And neither yep. do we. Oh my God, At what's going to happen? They're on a surfboard. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> they're on a plane? Not intended, but it's pretty when great. When life, you know, when, when life gives you pear bears, you make pear bear manade. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my devil father used to say. <laughs> uh, Roxy, you want to walk us through what, what's what's happening here? Oh, you'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what she is. Julia is yeah. fully in character. I love it. We we really just, just like, like Ro- Roxa. What are you What are you about to do? You'll see. Oh my goodness! Something's happening. She's she's punching. I, I she's, see. She's punched the air so hard as to create a rift. Did she punch through time and space? It would. I would not put it past Roxa to be able to do yeah. that. Oh my god. Uh, oh. Oh my goodness. Holy shit! She shattered. <laughs> She she shattered our, our, our plane of existence. <laughs> that was not or supposed least, to happen yet. At least the wall. <laughs> oh, or did she just punch the wall? Or maybe that, she just... that would make more that would make more sense. <laughs> false I mean... alarm, guys. False alarm. 
<laughs> just punched a wall. <laughs> just punch, she just punched a wall. Still pretty cool. <laughs> now, I like to think that you guys just don't understand how walls work, and you think that she has punched through time and space. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I can see another room. Oh, the planes, they're melding. What is happening? <laughs> She got so excited for this fight that well, she accidentally punched through the, the, the wall of the cave we're in. Mm -hmm. So it's causing the room to break up. Oh, so oh, you just... <laughs> I, hope, I hope there wasn't anything important we were supposed to find in here. Because <laughs> it, it, it about to be buried. Okay, okay. It about to be buried. <laughs> I like to throw Caldwell for a loop. Oh man, I'm gonna have to. You guys are all gonna have to do like rubble checks. <laughs> yeah, Caldwell, you shouldn't have made this environment fully destructible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the physics are just too good. <laughs> yeah, oh as God. all the the as this room is collapsing, you just see several like golden treasure chests get covered up <laughs> with rubble and refuse. It's like, no, come on, dude, man. <laughs> Oh. That. <laughs> it was a really well calculated hit and it's kind of collapsing the ceiling above them anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> even like even when she's just too excited and hits the wall, it's still mm -hmm. a better calculated hit than like <laughs> Anything Rygina or Lexi can yeah. do. Yeah, Roxa is so OP, and it's like and she's like the one punch man of our group. We're like, you know that she's gonna win, but how? Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, like, what's gonna what's gonna be the thing that like makes her actually fight? Uh -huh. In this case, it's seeing eight fruit bears standing yeah. together. I feel like she's gonna be bummed because she's not actually getting to fight. She just got psyched and punched a wall because yeah. she was so hyped about fighting. Yeah, she's pretty annoying. Yeah. She got so pumped. <laughs> or you're like a football player who like slams heads with another football player before they go out in the field, but then you just destroyed everything. <laughs> well, this is great. You um you successfully defeat the pair bears. Congratulations. <laughs> Wonderful. You did it. Congratulations, Roxa. You all did it equally. We all did it equally. Couldn't have done it without us. Yep, we all did it equally. <laughs> Glad I could help. Bone regard just rattles and dances. <laughs> um, well, great guys. So uh, they're all defeated. Uh, the room is in fucking shambles. Great work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So here's the thing. Um, <laughs> they just they know their fate. <laughs> they're not even running. The one, the one at the back is <laughs> just resigned. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yes. I was just born and now I must die. <laughs> <laughs> Such is the way of things. <laughs> so you keep like waiting for the rubble to stop falling. You're kind of like, should we? But then more falls and you're like, well, should we? And then like even more rubble falls. <laughs> and like eventually it all stops and you're like, should we like, should we look around? I guess. We were um, just, we were just here. Francis just sent us to look, uh, in case there were monsters, right? Yeah, we yeah. found the monsters. We found the monsters. I I don't know. I don't know if it was the best plan because uh -huh. <laughs> if there were monsters in other rooms, we left the room he was in. <laughs> so if they came in, if the door was as easy to open from the other side, we should have just stayed in the room with him. Yeah. And defended him in case monsters like that pear bear I don't know, he wasn't bothering anyone. He was just eating his Wendigos Here's under some though. trash. <laughs> like Francis was being kind of a dick. Yeah, I think he just wanted some I personal space. I didn't really space. want to hang out with him. No, any that's longer. fair. You're you're right to it. He just needed a little time to himself. Uh, there, he really was just like sending you guys. Uh, you know, he was just asking the kids to go upstairs. Essentially, and I got a moth buddy. So, uh, so well, there's yeah. that. Do you guys want to? Um, does everyone want to do a quick rummage check? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's rummage do, roll. Rummage roll. Here it comes. Okay, roll for rummage. I got a six. Okay. Um. I got a 16. Ooh. I'm good at rummaging. <laughs> 19. Oh. I'm even Ooh. better. Rox is the best oh, rummager. Rox is can lift the heaviest rubble. Rox, a, Rox is just punching the rubble away. <laughs> I'm just so upset that I couldn't fight those bears, and now I'm you... just like punching whatever. <laughs> a 19 is officially the best roll in the game because it, it is one away from the Blart trigger. <laughs> the Blart trigger. <laughs> yeah. if, you get a, if you get a 20, Paul Blart comes out and just messes up the room more. <laughs> Paul Blart, just yeah. Runs through the rubble. Paul Blart steals all of your treasures instantly. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So you guys, like, y you're y'all rooting around to see what you can find up in here. Paul Blart is a national treasure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why the third Paul Blart movie is also the third national treasure movie. The, oh, my God. That would be an amazing crossover. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking would be. <laughs> hey, Hollywood, you listening? Probably. We're, we're come up with gold over here. <laughs>
Legsy, you find um, you find a box. Ooh, it's, there's nothing in it. <laughs> it's got a P on it. It's and it's, it's got a big old hole in it. Uh huh. And there's uh, there's no no debris, no nothing, just fully empty. Yeah, and you you find it like it, it was kind of in the other side of the the other corner of the room. Uh, okay. You didn't get you tried to rummage, but you're a bit too small to rummage, so you just decided to go check it in the other side. I'm, all, I'm also carrying a lot of legs. Um, is that uh-huh. is that what the the pear bear broke out of? Is that why it has a pee on it? Uh, it's a good question. <laughs> Jacob, for your good question, I award you triple advantage. Oh my god, triple, triple oh. advantage. Do you know what that means? What? It means that you're twice as powerful, but you can't ask any more questions. <laughs> I'll take it. Fair. <laughs> uh, okay, and then um Jacob, you got a um you find a diagram. Ooh. Neat. You're not diagrams. sure what it means, but it seems important. So you decide to hold on to it. I know that I don't I don't want to do that top thing, but that bottom thing, I'm into it. <laughs> this seems important. You better hold on to it. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Anytime. That's actual advice, Jonathan. You feeling okay? I you know, honestly, my whole world has just sort of been rocked. <laughs> oh god damn it. Uh, I thought he was coming down with something. I thought Ooh. he was coming down with something. Uh, <laughs> Christ. Um oh boy. <laughs> Uh, so while you guys were like dicking around trying to move over rocks, uh, Roxa turned her um, her Edward Scissorhands claw fist into shovel fist and just fucking chucked away all the rubble. Uh, and she found an interesting little cube. Uh, oh, and you're not quite man. sure what this cube is. <laughs> I like the coloration I on got, that cube. I got some feelings about this. <laughs> but you Remember, know you're that... not allowed to ask any more questions. No, you're twice as powerful. <laughs> I'm three times as powerful. Three, thrice as powerful, but no questions. No questions. <laughs> you love the ability to question. Luckily, you, you turn the cube around and there are instructions. And it says, um, it's got printed on it, uh, Daryl Co. Capture Cube. Uh, warning. Um, it just says warning. <laughs> Oh. oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Any more words um, that I wouldn't have read it anyway, so yeah. it's fine. Daryl, and- <laughs> warning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I will. I am warned. <laughs> Uh, you also notice that there's a. I guess, I guess a, so. <laughs> you also notice that the 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 little button on front it seems to be lit up. So you kind of infer that like, and it's also shaking a little bit. It's like vibrating. So it seems like there's something in there. So you you stash it for now. Um, you think maybe you'll ask Francis about that a little later on. In Demon Johnny's mouth, like everything else. Uh huh. Yeah. Pop he, that in he, there. He's a capture cube onto himself. Don't get that thing close <laughs> to Paul Blart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll try. Put it in a different compartment. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh boy! My God. <laughs> Back to the adventure. So you guys assess all of your treasures. You seem pretty pumped about uh, how this encounter went, uh, and all of a sudden you hear a little a, a tinkly fluttering sound, and you look up and you see that um, Jeffers Two has found an amulet. Oh, Jeffers 2, I knew there was. Oh, thanks, buddy. And Jeffers Two says, "Who's a good Jeffers?" Jeffers Two says. You're welcome, Nathan. Unfortunately, I can only give this amulet to someone who is truly worthy of it. No, that's fair. And that will be decided by the fates. Uh, and this amulet is, of course, the the pear seed amulet. It was the, it's what the pear bear was made from. It's one of it's it's essentially his heart. Huh. Uh, and this amulet allows anyone to Neat. double an item. Oh mm-hmm. shit! Mm-hmm. Can I have that? Who? How do we? Who gets Hands it? Hands off, Horno! Says Jeffers too. <laughs> Hey, Je- hey, Je- hey, Jeffers 2. Um, Jeffers 2, that's racist. Je- first of all, Jeffers 2, who taught you that language? <laughs> Second of all, um, I, 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 get, I get what you're saying about a uh, person being worthy, but also um, I did give you life. Sorry, buddy. You're not my fucking dad. I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> Damn, Jeffers 2 has gotten into his angsty teenage yeah. face. <laughs> well, at this rate, he'll be dead soon. I wish all teenagers had that voice though. <laughs> that would make them that would make their antics so much better. Yeah. Truly I am but a moth, but within me dwells the collective consciousness of all the souls that have ever been and will ever be, because I am a chariot of death. So I will give this amulet to who is worthy, as is determined by the chorus of fates. And we'll figure that out, you know, in a week or so. Oh, I get it. 
I understand. Now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's becoming clear. I I, I uh, it it took me that long to figure out what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> you you can cut that. <laughs> the chorus of fates. That's a good name for our audience. Yeah, Jeffers too is amazed at how long it took you to figure that fucking slow ball out. So he he holds on to. Hey the- <laughs> hey Jeffers too. Hey Jeffers too. I I don't need your sass right now, buddy. <laughs> I found a box. <laughs> it's a cool box. That's it. Yeah, that, that box is pretty sick. What's the P stand for? <laughs> I don't know, man. Probably Paul. <laughs> anyway, Jeffers 2 holds on to the amulet. Uh, and before you can argue more with him, you hear just a bunch of gunshots. Whoa. Whoa. So you guys rush back out to the, the main chamber uh, where you see... Um, Francis holding his um his taser, if you will, uh, yeah, which is yeah. you know of course actually a gun, and it's smoking. Um, and he's just surrounded by dead monsters. <laughs> oh, you know it's it's funny, guys. Wasn't I just saying this exact thing might happen yeah, if we if we went crazy? This is so crazy because like we were in the other room. <laughs> Lexi was just and saying. I was just talking about how if we're in here, then like <sighs> what's to stop the monsters from oh, the man. other two rooms from coming in? Hey guys, to that there is hysterical. I gotta I gotta level with you. Um, I didn't. I, I just needed to clear my head. I just need a little space, honestly. I'm not used to... That's what we... That, I, that's, oh, my God. Wow. Word for word. Yeah. Is what, that's what we That's what we figured. Because <laughs> we we also kind of... You were kind of being a dick. We didn't want to be around you for a little bit. We thought it was a good idea yeah, to we, get out of the room. We've really just got to know each other. We really just kind of like can interpret what the other one is saying um, just flawlessly, yeah. just seamlessly, honestly. Because you just, you just actually... You have a gun. I do. <laughs> so you... The monsters are no trouble for yeah, you. Yeah, it's just like... You know, I gotta. I, you guys are just really around for muscle and intimidation factor. And also, I only have one bullet left. I should mention that uh, I did not pack very well as far in the bullets department. Uh, but guys, good news! I, I figured out the password. Um, oh, was it? It was. Uh, it was guessed. <laughs> yeah, it was just guessed. Well, I guessed. well I could have guessed that. Okay. <laughs> right. oh, oh boy. <laughs> boy, oh boy. I was pretty happy with that. Okay. One. Well, so yeah, I I'm. I'm in the I'm in the, the computer. I'm in the mainframe now. He walks over uh, and like shows you what he's working on, um, and he's like, "So yeah, I guess it's time to uh, finally get that door open." Uh, and he he opens up a command prompt uh, and um, starts to enter it in, and all of a sudden you hear a loud siren noise, um, and the door remains completely closed. It does not budge, but the small monitor that was previously off that was next to the large one powers on. And it has a face on it. And the face says, hello. And then before you can respond, two arms just erupt from within the the computer console. And the monitor, which you now see is just kind of a clumsy looking robot, just kind of awkwardly climbs out, much like a a, a moth would of its cocoon. Um, So it, it awkwardly frees itself. And Francis is like, oh, God, here we go. And he pulls himself out, hops up onto his wheel, spins over to you and says, Hello, my name is Gregory Hamilton, security. Yes! (laughs) Security computer. Have you seen my daddy? (laughs) And that's going to do it for this episode of Draga. Uh, guys, Yay. Hell yeah. uh, guys, thank you so much for, for watching. We've got some honorable mentions coming up in a second. Uh, but for now, just want to say, uh, please, uh, vote. I, I, I call upon you, the chorus of fates to decide who Jeffers two will, will award the pear seed amulet to, uh, in addition, um, action item for this round, um, decide which Pokemon or other creature is, is dwelling within, uh, Roxas <laughs> capture cube. Uh, and then Roxa. I've got a, I've got a feeling. I know what it's going to be. <laughs> I'm calling it officially, officially putting the, uh, the moratorium on Sfield. Let's get some new blood in there. <laughs> <laughs> it could be Sfield if you really want it to be Sfield. But yes, action item. Uh, let me know which Pokemon or other collectible monster you would like to see drawn from memory, uh, and emerge from the capture cube. Uh, guys, that's that's gonna do it for us this week. Um, as always, thank you so much to the Ladies Book Club. You did a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you. You did a wonderful job. Oh, I, it's true. I try my best. Uh, I honestly do. Um, please don't make fun of me, uh, guys. <laughs> it's 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 been a pleasure as usual. Thank you so much for for watching. Um, please share the show with your friends. Uh, I know that if you got friends that like art or cartoons or Dungeons and Dragons, they'd probably like this. So uh, 
get them on board. Actually, episode three is is even a good place to start. It's a little shorter of an episode. It's a good entry point. Um, that's all I got for you this week. Um, vote for the winner. Um, write which Pokemon you want to see. And we are sorry. So sorry. sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, honorable mentions. Let's see. We got some. We had some fucking good ones this time. I was worried about this prompt, but honestly, like, it turned out great. Uh, so the first one is um, the potato gamer, who just said no password. It was unlocked the entire time. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> pretty pretty close to what it ended up exactly, being. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. That it was between that one and um, and Ruben Van Schuten's uh, password guess. Um, oh, Jeremy Wills said password Jeffers. Now, see, Lexi didn't actually name Jeffers that. When she studied the spider ring, she noticed the string was actually a leash and had a tag with the spider's name on it. Jeffers is actually Daryl's long-lost pet spider that old baby Gus pocketed once for his prize grotto. That's canon. Wow. That's some that's some lore building. <laughs> yep, yeah. Yep. Ta-da. Official lore. Officially canon. Um, the Kintaror said, the password changes every time. It is always an internet meme, like dick butt, and you have to draw it in. Better than face recognition. <laughs> Um, the Kintaror, yeah. that's a fun idea. Uh, that might be too close to an idea that we're going to do a little later. So I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything, but great idea. Great suggestion. This, this truly was one of the fates for he <laughs> foresaw the future. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those cool ones. What like has a bunch of golden thread and cuts it at times. <laughs> Cardinal 555 says, I feel like once you open the computer, it should show a strongly worded halfway typed email to Rotten Tomatoes about how Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 should have had a higher rating. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree. Daryl died doing what he loved, which was emailing Rotten Tomatoes. God bless. 